What's in you? Aw, pumpkins, decorations and such. Anything in there that we're interested in? Yeah, plastic stuff. All right, let's see, what do we got here? You are moving picture projector. Oh, cool. All righty. You and that's a long cable. This is a long HDMI cable. So I suspect they were showing movies out in the backyard. That'd be my guess. Now well, we have a nice extension cord. Ugh. That extension cord never ends. <sighs> and a shoestring. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, that's the blower. Okay. Up a little bit there. Stay, Simba. <clears throat> Let's see, what did we decide was in there? Yeah, just decorations and stuff. We're not going to take the flat screen or the curved screen. The curved flat screen. But we'll take the power cord. Okay. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Shark Scrapper. We, we are back out on the streets. I love it. It is a beautiful morning. I don't think there's a cloud up there. A little bit chilly, 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Got my long sleeves on. We're gonna go have some fun. Come on, let's dive in. Did you think you could hide from me, you fan? <clears throat> hey Coons, Coons Christmas Tree Bandit, buddy. <laughs> it's that time of year, man. Oh, let's see what else. We got anything else going here? That'll be it. I wonder what happened to the rest of the fan. Oh, maybe they put it in the box. Oops. Let's not forget this. This could be aluminum. Or it could be plastic. What are you? Aluminum. Cool. You big with this wire shelving time. <laughs> Alrighty, now. For those of you that are new to the channel, we play a little game here where people guess the total length of ubiquitous wire shelving that I find during a street scrap. Now these angle pieces, the way I treat those is I take the measurement from right up the middle, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, Come on, come on. Five, six, seven, eight. 
So we have eight of these. Ugh. I'm just gonna put them in here for right now. Right, eight of those, and we will home. Oh. Stop it. There we go. We'll figure out how I'm gonna put those in as I find some more stuff. Oh, and this bag is cans. Cans from Mrs. Shark. This is cool. Yeah, laundry hamper or something like that. So yesterday I went in to get my booster <clears throat> and uh, they call up my record and they're like oh yeah you haven't gotten your influenza either so I say okay let's get that one done and then they said oh and we noticed that uh, you're due for a tetanus and I was thinking well given the nature of my work it wouldn't be a bad idea to have my tetanus updated as well so two in one arm one in the other a little bit sore this morning, not too bad. I, I uh, unloaded a bunch of scrap yesterday. And uh, uh, normally I would just do some push-ups, but because I had a lot of scrap to unload yesterday, I just uh, went with the load and unload yesterday as my arm exercises to keep things loose and circulating. So that's cool. Got some fog coming up from the cool weather. So, other than being just a little bit sore, we're gonna keep working this out today. Finding some scrap. Umbrella. Come on, Umbrella. What do you say? We let's get this umbrella naked. Usually, these are Velcro. <clears throat> And when they're Velcro, they come apart a lot easier. Boom, get off of there. Get off of there. Up there. Okay. That is one bent up piece of ubiquitous wire shelving. Somebody got mad at their ubiquitous wire shelving, I think. Well, you all are gonna have a hard time guessing that one, aren't you? Well, there's, there's in the bed, all right? So, that should help you out a little bit anyway. Hmm, 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 hmm. What do we have going on here? Yeah. Kite and a stroller of some sort. The old table. We got some furniture. That's a, from a kitchen. Got some little bin things there. All right, well, the stool we can definitely take. No problem with that. Ooh. All right, and we can take you guys. We'll probably take you. You're, you're gonna be aluminum. Let's get, let's get this metal stuff in here. The ferro stuff. We'll throw the aluminum. 
in the back. <clears throat> Get you in a minute. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, we'll get you. And you go in there. <clears throat> deal with you later. We'll deal with you later. See, there's an example of something I can't bring in. That's actually mostly plastic. A little bit of metal and then there's of course all the cloth the yard will dock me on that but they won't dock me on this and I could take that back and try to break out all that aluminum from there but we're not gonna do that why aren't we gonna oh look at all these bins huh interesting you know what? I'm going to have those. If they do not prove to be useful, I can always throw them away, but... Sometimes for separating the e-waste, it's nice to have some moderately sized bins to throw stuff in while you're sorting. Well, we have a little bed, so we're gonna grab the bed frame. We're not gonna grab this TV. We might come back for the cord. Yeah, we'll come back for the cord. <clears throat> of course, a lot of you know there's good yolks. Yolks in there that for copper and stuff such but I am not going to put any I've got so much other stuff to do right now that in the shark cage that something like that can be left for another scrapper if I ever get caught up all the way then yeah maybe I'll pick those up again hey squirrel what you doing, squirrel? Run, squirrel, run! Don't worry, I'm not gonna bother you. Go on, you wanna go up that tree? There you go, go on up that tree. All right, what do we got going here? Now, let's get this cord all untangled from the pressure cord, from the pressure hose. Another example of something that I'm not going to take. I used to be able to take something like that into this yard without any trouble at all for the shred pile, but not anymore. They're getting very, very picky. Metal poles, metal poles. All taken apart for me. That was very nice of them. Thank you very much. Hello, bed frame. What you doing, bed frame? Would you like to come with me? And I'm kind of surprised we haven't found more appliances. It's right after Black Friday. This is the first bulk pickup after Black Friday. I would have expected there to be some appliances out on the street. Oh well. We still have more of the neighborhood, about a third of this neighborhood to go. So, maybe, maybe they're just waiting for me to get the truck all goobered up with stuff and then I'll find them. Ruh -roh. Please be the recycle dude, not the bulk waste dude. Please be recycle. Please be recycle. These, uh, yeah, they're recycled. Good. Good, good. <clears throat> Need to be kind of quick here on this cul-de-sac.
Christmas tree bandit. Take the gloves off, dummy. The gloves are coming off. So I took a poll a couple weeks ago and I asked folks what was their favorite appliance to pick up street stripping. And microwaves was number one. At 30 some percent. And that kind of didn't surprise me all that much. <clears throat> and dryers were number two. And that did not surprise me at all. Dryers, as a lot of people know, are kind of like little slot machines. <clears throat> you just never know how much coinage and such is going to come tumbling out of a dryer. All right, now, my challenge is how do I get this dryer up in here, given all of this stuff? going to do is set you down like this. There we go. Now dryers are usually pretty light. So I should be able to tip that up there without much difficulty. And let's see here. might be able to get it in there and then get that stuff out of the way. Ah, I know what we're gonna do. Yep, I know what we're gonna do. Doo -doo. Ah. There we go. There we go. Ah. Now they've always taken Christmas trees before without any trouble, so. And why am I taking this one? Well, we're getting pretty far along in this neighborhood. So, So there's no reason not to not to get the space filled up. I 
letting us make a whole lot of noise while we're at it. The rest of this is wood. I think, don't know if there's enough. Oh no, that's steel. Yeah, we can take that too. Yeah, cool. Alrighty. Alright, so we're gonna block these people a little bit, but since it's their house, I should be able to Plastic. I think we can get, I think you'll be okay. Especially since I have a lot of other metal in here today. It's just a question of where I put it. Fine. Cup of the little metal bits, little metal pieces here. And we're going to get some cord food. Cord food off of some sort of pump from a <clears throat> wooden umbrella. Do a quick walk about here, see if there's anything hiding. Hey, Raphael, look, I found some shroomies. <laughs> what do you think? A little butter? A little garlic? White wine? <laughs> Alright. Alright then. My friend Raphael likes to go shroomy hunting, mushroom hunting, and then he cooks them up. Well, I'm not much for shroomy hunting, but I do like street scrapping. And if you like street scrapping too, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And the links that are popping up are going to take you to more shark scrapping videos. The round one in the middle, that's to help you subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.